Hey guys, this is Jennifer Boylan and I'm coming to you from Orlando, Florida. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to post advertisements on Facebook using the Power Editor tool. Now, some of you may already be posting advertisements on Facebook using the regular ad manager, but uh, what's a little bit different and unique with the Power Editor tool is you can actually use this to specifically target the people that you want to be seeing your advertisement without people that may not be so interested in seeing it. And you can also create a post advertisement within the Power Editor tool so that you don't always have to create new advertisements on your actual Facebook page. You can just create it within the Facebook um, Power Editor. Now, um, first things first, uh, if you're new to advertising on Facebook, you want to make sure that you have your own Facebook page. So this is separate from your Facebook personal profile. Um, creating a Facebook page is what actually allows you to advertise on Facebook. So um, there's a lot of different ways to getting to your Facebook Power Editor tool, but you want to make sure um, for this specific instance that you are going from your Facebook personal profile and what you'll see here is on the left hand side ads manager that's my beautiful sister and her long-term boyfriend by the way uh, we were just at the beach for the weekend with a, some family and friends celebrating um, people's birthdays in September and um, my dad actually proposed to his 17-year-long uh, partner, and it was very special, very cool. So, okay, so now that you're in the, this is the um, ad manager, so what you want to do is go here, right here, to on the left to Power Editor. Now, this is really important when you're using the Power Editor because Say that you want to use a status update or picture that you've already posted on your Facebook page. Well, this downloads anything that you've used on your Facebook page. This downloads it into the Facebook editor. So that's why you want to just click download. It'll only take a few seconds. Okay, so it's just saying downloading data will erase any changes that have not been uploaded. This only takes a few seconds. This probably could have been something that I paused for, <laughs> but that's okay. It doesn't take long at all. All right, so now we are in the Facebook Power Editor. Now, if you've never used this before, first things first, you want to create a campaign. You create a campaign and then you create your ads under the campaign. So in order to do so, you want to just click on campaign and click right here where it says create campaign. And right there is where you can title your campaign and you can set it up to where you have specific ads under this specific campaign. And then if you want to create another campaign that you might have, you know, going to different niches or target markets, you can create a different campaign. So since I already have multiple campaigns, um, I can just click on the campaigns that I have on the left hand side and I'll go with the get paid while having a life. Okay, so you click on the campaign that you want to use and then you go to back to ads and you want to create the ad. Okay, now let's see, this is just taking a second. Okay, so right here it's, it's a fully blank um, slate. So what you want to do is make sure uh, you get rid of these errors. So in order to get rid of the errors, you'll be filling out your ad. So ad name, I'm just going to say blog to have fun and get paid. Because this is the market that, that I am in. Um, I'm in the market where you know we teach people how to blog and get paid by blogging or posting videos online. And we actually have this huge uh, blogging beast 
promotion um, that in the next couple of days we're launching something that's going to change the entire internet industry and it all has to do with a simple blog so that's why I'm creating an ad this way to get people who are already interested in blogging to learn how they can get paid to blog okay so that's just my particular advertisement you can advertise about whatever it is that you want if you you know do any weight loss promotions um, if you have any products that you want to sell jewelry um, you know anything in the world and then I go here for a Facebook page using a page post and as you see now the six arrows have already gone down to one so I'm going to scroll down here and um, when you're when you're creating an ad, if you want to use an ad that was already on your Facebook page, well, you just go to destination and you pick the page that the ad was on. And for the most part, this is my most popular page. Um, and then this is where you would actually pick up whichever advertisement that you've already posted on your normal Facebook page. You can choose whichever ad you want to use to promote it. But what I'm going to teach you is because you could have done that with the ad manager. So what I'm going to teach you is how to create a new unpublished post. So this means you create your own post within this power editor. Okay, so you go here to photo and select an image. And I already made one, so I'm not going to make this one again, but this is just to show you how to do it. Okay, that's why it's not working. Okay. So I have a picture, and then here I already had the specific text that I want to use for my ad, so I'm just going to highlight this entire thing. Go back here, and then I'm going to, after I pasted the photo, now I'm going to go back to link. And then in the description, I'm going to put in my description, um, just a little piece of advice to get it to be, you know, really attention grabbing. Make sure you have something like, um, okay, so you could say attention bloggers or, you know, in someone else's case, attention business owners, you know, something that dra uh, grabs people's attention so they'll want to um, see what your ad is all about. And then I'm going to paste this, copy and paste this link and put it right here. And then post text. This is going to be um, this here, the link headline. That's going to be like your title. So I'm going to say the blog beast is coming. Very exciting. Okay, so that's pretty much all you have to do to create your own advertisement. Definitely play around with this area. You can do link, photo, video, and status. So just kind of see what suits your needs best. Once you hit create post, it's going to start creating your post. And uh, once it creates this, I'm going to show you some, some other cool steps that you need to do. Okay, so now that this is what it is going to look like in someone's news feed. So the blog beast is coming, attention bloggers, you see that? Okay, so now this is really cool. So now you can um, click after you created the ad. Now you want to pick the audience that you want to see your ad. And you can actually choose anywhere um, in the country, outside of the country. So it's very uh, broad as to who you can advertise to. Okay, so audience, or you can use existing audiences. So, you know, just to be simple, we're going to keep it in the United States everywhere, but you can even target it to just go to a certain state or city. Um, age, I like to start at 18. And then I'll usually go to it, depending on what you're doing, I mean, you could have something that's geared towards, you know, just women who are between the ages of, you know, 30 and 65. So it just depends on whatever you're doing. But for this case, I'm just going to say 18 to 55. Uh, we're going to gear it towards men and women. And precise interest, this is where you go to actually pick your target audience. So I've already done research and I already know a couple of sites that you know people might be interested in what I have to offer 
because I've already looked it up. And you want to make sure that they have a Facebook page that people have liked. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is um, just write down a couple things. So copy blogger. Let's see, and it should auto-populate. Copy blogger. Okay, so we'll do Amy Porterfield, because she does a lot of social media promotions. Um, we'll do Mari. So even if you're a social media marketer, you know, get to know who who is also in your competitive market that you think the people that follow these people would also like to know what you have to offer. And then I'll just say Anthony Robbins because with what we do, it actually attracts people that, you know, are attracted to people like Anthony Robbins because these type of people know that there's more out of life than than just the norm. Know that that anything is possible so we like to attract people that have a positive mind and an outlook and know that you actually can get paid blogging and posting videos online so there's different ways that you can do it so I'm just this is just as an example okay let me go back there because it didn't okay so right here tells you who your estimated reach is and what I've learned is you want to uh, geared towards about 400 to 600,000 people. Don't really go any more higher than that because then you're just um, targeting too many people and, and not all those people will actually see it. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so I like to put target users who are not already connected to my page. That way new fresh eyes can see my advertisement. You can do whatever you want here, okay? So that's it for your audience. Now you go to optimizing and pricing. Now this is very important. Listen up. You want to make sure you click CPC. That means cost per click. That means you are paying for people to click on your ad. CPM means cost per cost per impression, meaning an impression is just if people saw your ad. So that could be anybody seeing your ad, but you want them to actually click on it in order to pay for the advertisement. Okay, so cost per click, and it tells you here the suggested bid, bid range is 39 to 81 cents. I like to do mm, about 70 cents. Once your ad is running, you can see what you're actually paying per click and then aim towards that price, and then it'll keep going lower. Alright, so that's all that we have to do now. So make sure after you've done all this, there's no error right here. Make sure you click upload. Instead of now download is where it downloaded from your Facebook page to the Power Editor. Upload is actually uploading your your current post and gonna put it out there. And then you'll receive a notification within about five minutes on whether your ad was approved or not. Sometimes you want to make sure that the picture that you use, that there's no more than 20% of text in the picture or else Facebook won't approve it. Um, and that's all I have for you today. I hope you got a lot of information of this um, cool power editor tool. And if you're interested in learning how you can get paid online posting videos and writing blogs will um, enter in your email address at the bottom by clicking this link and you'll learn um, you'll <laughs> you'll learn um, this new blog beast that we've got coming out that's gonna change the uh, industry completely so definitely if you're learning to make some more money in your pocket click that link below um, but I'll see you on the next video bye